Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Um, got a few things for you today. Uh, it's a crazy day, day after the election. Well, I guess it's still going on with the counts and everything, but uh, got a package delivery from Steel City uh, Collectibles. First time I bought from them. Um, we have the Leaf Trinity. I have a uh, Chronicles uh, 2020 Hobby Pack and then a CeeLo Pack of the uh, Prism 2020 Draft. So. Uh, I cracked into this Trinity Leaf. Uh, I was very excited for it, and I'm going to review those hits, and then we're going to open the other ones together here. Um, so the first uh, first thing you got here is the clear James Prochet. Uh, we'll see how he does. Um, I think it was a second or third round pick, uh, but I haven't heard much about him this year doing anything. Second, uh, not the quarterback you're looking for, but Cole McDonald, uh, 6 out of 20. Um... I'm not actually sure where Cole McDonald is or if he's still on a roster. Seventh round pick, he says here. These are cool. These cards are really cool. I have um, I have some uh, some of the Leaf Trinity in my PC, and I, I think that some of the coolest looking cards. Uh, and they're a fair price. I think it was a 170 for this box or something like that. Uh, third card here, Juwan Johnson, one out of 50. <clears throat> First off the line here for Juwan. Uh, another player, I, I have a bunch of his cards, and I have not heard anything about him. So not the not the RPA you're looking for, but uh, nonetheless, a nice-looking card. Xavier McKinney, I'll take this. Uh, uh, safety for the Giants. I think he was a first-round pick, 9 out of 15, short print. Um, Good-looking card. He's on IR, though, so not going to hear much from him the rest of this year. Um, but still a cool card. Um, yeah. The last card here, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, the clear, 23 out of 25, that's the jersey number, so that's super cool. Um, and the most uh, famous player in these five cards that I got. So probably try to post this on eBay and see what uh, it'll go for. But a cool card, and uh, jersey number makes it even cooler. And so those are the five cards that I got out of my Leaf Trinity box. Um, I think they are very cool cards, and uh, I would not hesitate to buy another Leaf Trinity. Um, especially because I think the box is pretty close to what you're paying for, like the high-end Boombox Platinum or a, uh, Collectible Card Club. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not a Collectible Card Club, but a, uh, um, what am I thinking of, guys? Um, oof, the ones, the, the buy-ins. Anyways, the high-end buy-in, uh, repack, uh, that you can get. Uh, so, so, uh, I do like Leap Trinity. This is the, uh, 2020 Chronicles, Chronicles Hobby Pack. Uh, this was 60, no, sorry, 40, 45 or 46 on Steel City for a single pack. So I love this product. You know, there's a bunch of videos on my, my channel, a few videos on my channel that are related to this product. Uh, I think it's great. Um, doesn't look like it, doesn't look like there's a RPA in here, but maybe we get an auto. Uh, we got a Harrison Bryant. Uh, rated rookie, Tua. Always great to see a Tua, Tua rookie. Uh, Eno, ba I'm sorry, Eno Benjamin. Joe Burrow. That's a nice looking Burrow. KJ Hamler, uh, out of Elite. And we got it. Oh, we got an auto. Anthony McFarland Jr. There we go. We got an auto, but not that definitely. Which was a Burrow actually. Uh, 35 out of 49, Anthony McFarlane. Oh, there we go. A nice Tua Select card. I actually don't have that one. And a nice Jalen Hurts uh, Phoenix right behind it. So that Tua looks... Centering there. Eh. Um, not number that I can tell, but still a nice-looking Tua card. That's my boy right there, So so can't be too upset about that. Uh, and I think that Joe Burrow's a nice card. Anthony McFarland, the auto. Getting an auto is nice out of there. 35 out of 49. And, uh, yeah, the Burrow certified. Uh, nothing special on there, at least that I can tell. Um, cool card. I like the Jalen Hurts as well. I wonder if he's going to get a shot here in uh, Philly soon. And another two, yep. Yeah. So do Tua's, I can't complain about that. Love me some Tua's. I love how Chronicles loads up the quarterbacks as well. 
um, I am a fan. All right, so then the last thing I got here is the uh, CeeLo pack for the uh, for the Panini Prism 2020 College Draft. I think I spent 20 something on this one, so least expensive of the products, but I really like Prism. I think, well, <laughs> who doesn't like Prism? It's one of the most expensive and hardest to find products. Uh, but I haven't ever actually opened one of these um, CeeLo packs, so I'm gonna open up this. This is the, is it the pink sparkle? What are they called? The white sparkle? Oh, it's, it's sorry, exclusive pink Pulsar Prisms inside. Um, so let's see what we got going on with that. My blade's getting dull there. Oof. It's open from the front. I like the symbol on the back there, though. All right, wow. Uh, Nice-looking Patty Mahomes right there. Patty Mahomes Crusade. Uh, uh, also a nice card, DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, uh, pink Pulsar there, and then a draft pick, Xavier McKinney. Our boys popping up again with the pink Pulsar. Uh, nice card, nice looking card though, for sure. Uh, definitely some probably collectors out there might be interested in these as well. Uh, so not a bad uh, Pulsar pack there. Let's see what we get in the... Uh, Prism packs. All right, Austin Eckler, Terry Bradshaw. Looks like we got a TJ Hawkinson second year card. Pink. Colin Johnson. He's all over the place in packs as well. Uh, Leonard Fournette, and then a. Aaron Rodgers Crusade. So nothing crazy out of that pack. Let's see what this last pack has. The Brett Favre on the back, huh? All right, Chris uh, Godwin, Philip Rivers, Baker Mayfield Crusade. Draft picks, Donovan Peoples Jones, Matthew Stafford, and then a Brett Favre. So nothing crazy. I think the pink the pink pulsar uh, was a nice hit there for sure. Definitely like DeAndre and the Patty Mahomes there. Uh, so not bad rip. Um, you know, can't complain too much. I, I'm pretty happy with some of the stuff I got. Uh, and uh, we'll see we'll see what I do with it. But uh, for now, guys, I uh, hope you have a good week, and uh, I'll see you again soon.